Day 19 of this war and it doesn't seem like there is any sign of de-escalation. Russia intensifies its attack on Ukraine and here are some of those very haunting images that are coming in from those regions of Ukraine that's now completely desecrated. Here are those images that India Today brings to you. Russian troops there attacking Antonov Aviation Industry Plant in the capital city of Kiev. You see this plant that's caught fire. Plumes of smoke erupting from that plant, heavy shelling that's caused this massive fire. You can see plumes of smoke coming out from the plant while Russian soldiers also attacked a high-rise building along with plan, with that plant there, as you see, killing at least two people as per reports on ground. A school has been completely destroyed by Russian forces in Mykolaiv city of Ukraine. Visuals on your screens here show wreckage of that building and firefighters attempting desperately to extinguish that fire using fire hose. Ukrainian forces have pulled out an unexploded bomb from an apartment building in Chernihiv city of Ukraine. The video here shows the OFAB 500 air bomb being pulled out of a window from a residential area with the help of a crane. The bomb has the capacity of causing major destruction to the city. And war causes displacement, famine, poverty, injury and disease. The video here on your screens shows dead bodies being carried out the Kiev suburbs as Russian troops ramped up their efforts to reach Kiev. The Russian Defense Ministry has released a video on Sunday. It shows strikes being carried out with the help of drones. The video on your screens here shows unarmed combat aircraft taking off the bombing, taking off and even now as we speak, bombing the Ukrainian cities. Location of this bomb bombarding these strikes is said to be the capital city of Kiev and surrounding areas. Russia targets residential areas in Chernihiv. Heavy shelling has led to buildings being gutted in fire. This video here shows the amount of destruction that's been caused to civilian areas. Ukrainian firefighters can be seen trying to rescue stranded people. And Russian troops destroy food factory in Bravari. Images here shows massive plumes of smoke coming out of that depot. Buildings have been shelled at. Ukrainian firefighters now being on ground, desperately trying to douse that fire that's erupted. And now with each passing hour, Russian forces are inching closer to the capital city of Kiev. The video on your screens here shows how Russian troops and armoured vehicles are headed towards Kiev. Heavy gunfire and fighting have been reported in the last few days around the capital city. And hundreds of civilians hit the streets in Kherson to bravely protest against Russian occupation. Citizens have chanted, waved flags and protested against this Russian aggression. Kherson is the second largest city which has been captured already now by Russian forces. Ukraine claims that at least 35 people were killed in Russian bombing on Yavoriv city of Ukraine. The visuals on your screens here show the aftermath of Russian bombardment. Cars that have been completely damaged, buildings that have been destroyed. Mass destruction, non-stop bombings have reduced this city to rubble. And Russian aircraft dropped multiple bombs on the village of Dergachi near Kharkiv. Visuals on your screens here show fumes coming out of that factory that's now under fire. These visuals are coming in from Kiev, the capital city. Again, heavy overnight shelling that led to a massive fire in a residential area. This is on the 19th day of this war. According to sources, a shell even flew into a high-rise building, collapsing a nine-story building setting other buildings in the, in the vicinity there on fire. You can see how that firefighters are now desperately trying to save for what's left, douse that fire at the earliest. Due to continuous shelling, Kharkiv has been destroyed by Russian troops. You can see on your screens here buildings that have been destroyed, cars that are gutted. 
there is no sign of livelihood. People trying hard to ascertain what really is the extent of damage that's been done by the invaders. And Russian troops continue to target civilian establishments and areas. A Russian tank has crushed a car with several civilians inside near the city of Zephorizia. According to reports, two adults and a teenage boy has been burnt to death in that car. And Russian troops destroy the capital city of Kiev. On your screens here are images of horror. Bodies lying all over. Buildings and cars are in ruins. You can also see a charred Russian tank as we see attempts by Russian forces to put up a stiff fight. A Russian missile attacked a car parking area in Mykolaiv city. Visuals on your screens here show a missile hitting the civilian areas and private facilities. The damage has been caused by attacks. And of course, civilians are trying to ascertain what's been the extent of damage. Russian air raid causes widespread damage. These visuals on your screens here are from Bishiv village on the outskirts of Kiev. You can see shell buildings, burnt vehicles, debris of damaged houses all lying around as these cities now resemble ghost towns. And amid heavy shelling, Ukrainian troops escort civilians out of town of Irpin. Army personnel holding guns can be seen guarding people while they're crossing a makeshift bridge and making their way to buses that are waiting to evacuate them. Now this video here shows a tank firing on a building and setting it on fire. Russian tank can be seen firing on residential apartment buildings in Mariupol. New images here show devastation inflicted on besieged port city of Mariupol. These images are shared by Russian Defense Ministry which shows the Russian airborne forces landing and taking control of airfields in Ukraine. You can see paratroopers standing near a fence and aircrafts that can be seen behind the fence. Invaders cause heavy losses to the Ukrainian army. These images here show damaged Ukrainian vehicles and ammunition at the outskirts of Kherson. The footage here shows burnt vehicle debris, shell cars, as well as boxes of ammunition that have been left behind. Shelling there continues on residential buildings in Mariupol by Russian troops. Remember, this is the port city where Russia has been bombarding constantly for 19 days at a stretch. On your screens here are images of air strikes and attacks. Explosions can be seen on top of buildings followed by plumes of smoke really showing the extent of devastation and damage to that city of Mariupol. <laughs> Mass destruction in Kharkiv due to overnight shelling by Russian troops. A residential building has been gutted in fire after heavy strikes by invaders. Vehicles have been burned down. Streets are fully converted into debris. In fact, that city now being reduced to rubble. Following the invasion, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Anti-war protests have erupted in Finland's capital city of Helsinki. Thousands of protesters took to streets, marched in support of Ukraine. Widespread destruction all around Ukraine turns fierce. On your screens here is a scary aftermath of heavy bombing that's been caused by relentless attacks of Russian forces in Ukrainian town of Makariv in Kiev region. The aftermath of the attacks has left the capital city, Kiev, and the adjoining cities fully deserted and devastated. In fact, the conditions that we see here are very sorry state of affairs. Visuals on your screen showing huge bomb craters in that once populous city that's been now destroyed fully. Houses, residential establishments now reduced to rubble in Ukraine's Bishiv village too. Non-stop shelling by Russian forces continues to batter cities in Ukraine. This scary image is captured from the Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv. Constant rocket shelling on the suburbs of the city hits mostly residential buildings and private facilities.
Back to back strikes by Russian forces have completely destroyed central Ukraine city Dnipro. Visuals on your screens here showing the aftermath of Russian strikes, devastation, debris, fire everywhere. Amid severe damage to buildings, firefighters now carrying out relief works. Russia's offensive on Kiev gets fiercer with the use of attack drones. Explosion rocked Kiev's neighborhood in Podil, as a result of which the Spurbank's premises has now caught fire. Amid heavy shelling by Russian forces in towns of Volnovaka in eastern Ukraine, this drone footage here that's captured the intensity of the destruction really shows a telling story. Images of battered buildings on your screens as that city now remains under complete ruins. And braving assaults by Russian forces, Ukrainian officials have now alleged that the mayor of Melitopol city, Ivan Fedorov, was kidnapped after he refused to cooperate with Russian military occupying that city, with President Zelensky now saying that this kidnapping of the mayor of Melitopol is a war crime against democracy. And on your screens here is a scary aftermath of heavy bombing that was caused by Russia in the town of Bishivka, 50 kilometers east of Kiev. Widespread destruction all around as Russia's aggression really turns fierce. A destroyed village in Kharkiv's Yakshovka region shows the extent of destruction triggered by Russian assaults. Completely burned homes, buildings on your screens that reflect the horrifying aftermath of bombings and blasts. And as a result of shelling by Russian troops, a frozen food storage warehouse has caught fire in Bravari district. These horrifying images on your screens here are from Brovari district, which is very close to the capital city of Kiev. No casualties have been reported according to preliminary data. All Ukrainians unite to shield their motherland in full force. Civilians gear up as war intensifies and takes up arms, ammunition to launch counter strikes against Russia. Ukrainians refuse to bow down even as Russia ups its offensive. Now, as Russia intensifies its attack on the capital city of Kiev, the Ukrainian soldiers and civilians have now vowed to fight back. These visuals on your screens here shows doctors treating war injuries sustained by soldiers and civilians. Despite the stress of battle, one soldier was adamant that the Ukraine army would win. <laughs> With each passing hour, the battle lines are now getting closer. Visuals on your screens here show Ukrainian military fighting Russian forces in the village near Kiev. Video show, the video here shows how Ukrainian soldiers are advancing and coordinating this entire operation while they come under heavy gunfire. Right now on your screens is the footage from Zephorizia nuclear plant which has been captured by Russian soldiers as a military base. Ukraine ministry publishes a video with Russian military equipment on the site in front of that plant. <laughs> And from toddlers to the elderly, hundreds of civilians have now taken shelter in metro stations in eastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. The city is under relentless bombardment from Russian forces. The country's second largest city has suffered some of the heaviest shelling since the invasion began. And now the video on your screens here shows de destruction and devastation in the Ukrainian city of Volnovaka that's been caused by relentless attacks of Russian forces. City has now reportedly been captured by Russia-backed separatists. 